Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. And on this video, I want to show you how to move from Android to the newest iPhone 11. So I want to show you how to use the official app to move from Android to iOS. All right, so first thing you need to do is, this is a Samsung A20, if you want to know what kind of phone is this. You need to go to the Play Store here. Okay, you're gonna look for move. And look, I just type move and the first result is move to iOS. So this is the one we need guys, move to iOS and we're gonna install it. As you can see, this is the official app from Apple. And this app is gonna allow you to move your content, photos, videos, text to your new iPhone. So we're gonna open it and look at this guy. So we are right now on the app, move to iOS, and it says continue. Terms and conditions, I'm gonna agree. It says allow move to iOS to access this device location. I will say no, because I don't think we need that one. Allow move to iOS to access your contacts. I will say allow. Allow move iOS to access calendar. I will say allow. Send and view SMS messages. Allow. Access photos. Allow. All right. So I allow all of them because I do want to move all the pictures, calendars, text to my iPhone. So it says find your code. Then where I'm going to find this code? It said if you don't see a code on your iPhone, make sure you are in iPhone setup and have selected move data from Android. So we're gonna find this code, guys, on our Apple device. And by the way, the Apple device needs to be ready to set up. So if you have the iPhone like this, you're gonna need to reset it. In order to reset the iPhone, you need to go to Settings, General, and you're gonna go all the way down and set Reset. And you're gonna select this option, Erase All Content and Settings, okay? But chances are you have a brand new iPhone that is ready to set up, like this one. And this one is using the True Tone so basically it's displaying the whites kind of yellowish because that's the light that I have, that I currently have. So let's try to find the code on the iPhone that we're gonna use on the Android. So let's start it. English, and we're gonna click United States. Quick start, we're gonna set setup manually. We need to connect to the same Wi-Fi that this phone is using. Okay, so we are connected to the Wi-Fi now, to the same Wi-Fi that the Android is using. He said it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Data and privacy, we're gonna click continue. Face ID, we're gonna set this later. The passcode also, we're gonna do it later. And this is what we need, guys. This is the screen that this app is asking me for. So apps and data, and it says find the code. So this is what we're gonna select. Move data from Android. So click on it. It said move from Android. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you can transfer your photos, messages, and more to this iPhone. Download the Move to iOS app on your Android device to get started. So I already download the app. I have the app ready. So I'm gonna click Continue. And this is the code that we need, guys. So we have the code, and we're gonna click Next on here, right, Next. And we're gonna input the code. So the code is 918108. Let's see what happens. It says connecting to iPhone. Usually when it's taking that long is that I'm gonna get an error, a communication error. Right there, could not communicate with the device, really fast. On the iPhone, you know, it went bring me back to the, the previous screen. What happened is basically every time the iPhone display this code, it's gonna create a Wi-Fi network that you can sign in on the Android phone. You need to do it really quick, guys. And uh, so let's try it again. Okay, so what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna keep on this uh, Wi-Fi and we're gonna do again move data from Android, continue, and we're gonna see the connection, the Wi-Fi connection needs to be created right now. Here it is, guys, so we're gonna click faster now, and you know, I, O, S, space, E, B, four, A, C, connect, and now we have the connection. It said internet may not be available, but we're just gonna keep, keep Wi-Fi connection, all right? And then we go back to wherever we were, which is uh, this, and now we're gonna enter the code, 7820085. So look at this, so now it says preparing, you see? So whenever this is working, guys, you're gonna see the connection pretty fast. Whenever it's taking too long, that means that it's not gonna work. So it says transfer data, Google account, messages, camera roll, everything you can, guys. Click next, and now we're gonna start moving. We are transferring all the data, contacts, 
pictures, videos, text messages, call log, calendars, a lot of stuff you can move, guys. Look at this, transfer complete. Your data has been copied to your new iPhone or iPad. Some items were not copied, such as purchases app or media that is safe within apps, okay? In the case of WhatsApp, I think you need to do the backup and transfer manually, but it's pretty simple. You can use a Dropbox for that. So I'm gonna click done. We are done on this one. And let's see what happened here, guys. Transfer complete, continue setting up phone, okay? So now it's asking me for my Apple ID. And I'm gonna put uh, my passcode, okay? So I log into my iCloud account. And he said, it take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Express settings. Now I'm going to put customized settings. Keep your iPhone up to date. Install manually. Location services. Disable. Disable. Yes. Siri. Later. Later. Don't share. Don't share. True tone display. So you can see it, this is with true tone and this is without true tone. So I'm gonna use, uh, right now I cannot change it, but basically that's a true tone. And I like it, zoom, go home. Okay, welcome to iPhone. And let's see what's happening now, guys. Let's see what's happening now. What happened is, look at this, okay. It says, enter the Google password for suamigoalex at gmail.com. So it's pretty much connecting to my Gmail account. And once they do that, they're going to see the apps that you used to have on the Play Store. And they're going to try to download it on the, on the Apple Store. Okay. So go to settings. Add your Android device apps from the App Store. It says, yes, add apps because that's what you want. Okay, and what else? So Gmail, you're gonna click on Gmail and re-enter password. So you're gonna have to put your password on this one. Okay, settings one, you see, okay, Con continue. So it's gonna ask you to, to sign into your Gmail account. Okay, let me do that. And I'm in, I log into my Gmail and I'm getting a, a message here. And look, I'm gonna show you the message. The message is saying like Google alerts, you know, new device sign in, you know, that's a, and look at this guys, you see on the, look, it's immediately trying to download the apps that I have here. You see, I have WhatsApp and they downloaded WhatsApp. How can they know that I used to have WhatsApp here because of the Google Play? That's why it's really important for you to sign into your Gmail account because that's from where Apple is getting the information about the apps that you have. And if the apps on the Android, they are on the Apple Store, they're gonna download it. If they don't exist because some apps are only created for Apple or, or Android, then they're not gonna download it. But if they exist, they're gonna download it. So you can see all the, all the games and everything is being downloaded. The contact is taken up pretty much for the Google account. They're taking it from the Google account, right? So let's say, yes, the pictures were transferred also, okay? No problem. So I got the pictures, you know, I heard also the calendars, where's the calendars? But yeah, the calendar should be transferred too. But that's pretty much it guys. We were able, we were successful. Let me see something here. Display and brightness and uh, let's take out the true tone. Okay, so now it's more wider and then we can put more brightness. Yeah, so now it's, now it's much better, right? So guys, I think that's it. We were able to successfully move from Android to iOS, and this is what a lot of people are doing right now. Every time Apple get a new phone, a lot of people are switching from their older device, Android device, to the new iPhone. So I think this tutorial is gonna be helpful for a lot of people because that's what's happening right now. People are moving to the new iOS 13, to the new iPhone 11, and they love it. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Guys, if you want to support my channel, if you want me to continue uploading videos, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. That will help me a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Have fun, take care, and bye.